next to me. I'm, hold on. Jeez, I'm not looking like you. You look fine. <laughs> what, what are we? What am I saying? What am I talking about? How are you feeling? What are we doing? Where are you and how are we feeling? Uh, we are currently driving through about six inches of slush and it is the Burb Redemption Mission. Yep. We were up like three weeks ago now yep. and um, we hit it way too early. I literally only caught one burb the whole trip. And uh, so yeah, we heard the spawn is on and it's time to grease some burb. Last minute trips are seriously the best and that's kind of the moral of this story here. A couple days ago, Cole and I were like, you know what, it's starting to get warm. It's like 50, upper 50s down by where we live. Um, we had got word that the burbs are starting to do their thing, kind of in the middle of Minnesota, anywhere from Gull Lake, basically to the border. And it's such a short window uh, when burbit spawn. It's like, it can be a couple days, it can be a couple weeks. There's, there's so little information that people know about burbs other than this exact time of year, they start to do it and when they do it you better be there and that's like the only time when you can really catch them during the day other than that it's kind of got to be at night so cole and i we basically just chucked a bunch of stuff in the back of the truck we flew up north our good buddy tyler brick hooked us up with these two guys named peyton and sawyer they are uh they're locals they're young guys and they live right near this lake and uh yesterday on camera they saw him getting in greasy spawn balls hopefully we can capture some of that footage today but yeah, name of the game, redemption, catch some burbs, and see love, because love's in the air. So, stick with me, stay tuned. It is nice. All right, let's talk to the men of the hour. Introduce yourselves, fellas. My name is Isaac Seeker. And where are you from? Cross Lake, Minnesota. And are you a burbateer? Uh, I'm getting there. Yeah. You got me into it. I don't know, they're pretty fun. How long have you been fishing burbs? Uh, I started probably about three years ago, catching them accidentally for walleyes, and then they just started fighting a lot more than walleyes do. Yeah. So yeah, that's what's fun about them. Peyton Worley. Where Brainerd. From, Peyton? Brainerd, Minnesota. Talk to me about kind of your last week, what you've seen out here. Um, I've been coming out here almost every day just to kind of follow where these things are going. and. Uh, We've got a break line here that's probably a quarter mile long and dropping the camera down and every 20 feet looking for spawn balls. And it's like, is it just sand here? Is yep. that mainly what you're looking for? Yeah, just, just sandy straight. breaks? Yes, really steep breaks. So the program today, since they're spawning, we're going for them during the day. We're just yep. gonna kind of roll up your areas that you've seen them in the past, do some cameraing. If it's no good, we'll move on. Right, yeah, Okay. just keep moving. Try to find that's some freaking, balls. That's freaking yeah. nice. It's warm, it's beautiful. We could probably be fishing in shorts today. We've got, no way. So he just said there's a ball down there. And basically what that means, it's a spawn ball. A female will kind of be getting right and a bunch of males will kind of just surround her, shoot their stuff everywhere. And that's how love is made. No way. Should I just drop down for you? Dude, yeah. Look at that. We're gonna try to get some underwater footage today, guys, but we might be moving and grooving. There's one coming right at you. Oh, get him, dude. Oh, there's three of them. Gonna eat. He's gonna eat. Oh my gosh. He's gonna eat. They usually don't eat when the camera's down there. That's no. The problem. This is incredible, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. What oh. are they doing? I didn't even. They're just swimming around. I didn't even rip them. Don't. What? What do you mean? I didn't rip the middle. Next, we're gonna talk to a fella that, I feel like we've been in a deep relationship together for, I don't know, a decade, but this is the first time we're gonna potentially ever share hook sets. The one, the only, Brett McCoy. Hi guys. <laughs> talk, to me, talk to me a little bit about burbot fishing and talk to me about kind of what you've seen this year opposed to other years. Yeah, seeing tons and tons of fish, and I don't know if they're getting more pressure, so they're a little bit more tricky to get to bite, but also seeing more fish than ever before, which is a good problem to have. And They've been pretty bitey out here all year, even in January, early February, when people don't think about pout, but right now is the time to get down. It's 
really simple big giant heavy baits near bottom go like this until your rod tips just stays down but they're just super heavy fun fighting fish i mean the first one you'll ever catch will probably be when you're walleye fishing on accident and you're going to be disappointed because it's you're thinking it's a 27 inch walleye but it's a seven pound burbot but then you get to do it again and again and again it's not like that walleye where you fish all season for one big bite burbot I don't know, they're hefty, man. They like to eat. I relate to them. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm so Let's excited to see it. you, buddy. A decent amount. This hole is 30, and that one is 16. Wow. There we go. First pot of the day, baby. <laughs> Scooped it right off bottom. I wasn't even really watching the vex. I've been fishing for like 30 seconds. I know. <laughs> I just put my camera away. Ooh. Oh, it's a walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a beautiful walleye, too. Out of season. Wow. And kind of like the boys were saying, I feel like that's kind of how bird fishing got more popular, is guys were walleye fishing and they'd run into burbs, and then boom. <laughs> Pinto. Dude, that's a good one too. What was it, like 15 minutes of fishing, yeah, 10 yeah. minutes? Dude. That's a good one. Yeah. That's your biggest burb ever for oh, sure. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> come on. Dude, that's a long one. Big, greasy, beautiful bird. <laughs> we were just talking on the drive out here. So like four years ago, I was up here. I caught like two burbs. Biggest one was probably like five pounds. Yeah. Hadn't been out since. Came up earlier this year, caught one tiny one. I was like, I need redemption. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's beautiful. Turn him on his side. I want to see his pattern. I'll zoom in more a little bit. Beautiful. All right, let's get some so pictures. Sick. Back you go. <laughs> I'm so proud of Too you. Too cool. So, let's go. Redemption. Are they balled up or just cruising? Yeah, they're balled up. Probably 10 or 12 of them. They're that thick enough to probably pluck a line. There we go. We're good. On. Peyton literally just saw a bunch on this camera. And he's like, drop down right here. Get your head up here, darling. Ooh. Here. Oh, oh my God. On. Beautiful. I'm just gonna pop him out and get right back down there. <laughs> that is a dark, beautiful burb. It's all good. See you, buddy. Get back down there. Oh, do you have minnows on you? Yeah. I'm just gonna put two minnows on the pin. So you still got something in case. Over there too. So so he... Oh, that a babe. Pin's on. Pins on. I'm not even rebated back up. Pins on. Once again, a huge shout out to Peyton. This is not possible without him. And he's running around doing yeah, camera work at the Aquaview. He ran the camera over here, showed it at us, said get over here now, and we hooked up twice in three minutes. In the middle of the day, dude. It's a good one, dude. It's a good one, dude. Thanks for grabbing them. Dude, that's, that's a, good a good one. one. What do you think one like that weighs? Probably six, seven pounds. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Dude, that's a good one. Come on. <laughs> it's beautiful and dark, too. God, there's three bites here in these two holes in a matter of a couple minutes. <laughs> Show me that big mama. Dude, come on. 
It's one o'clock in the afternoon. It's probably 55 degrees out. It's legit hot. Unreal. And we're stroking. Oh, let me back up. They're so sick. That's a fat one. <laughs> That's a fat one, dude. Let's get some pictures. That's a thick one. Yeah, dude. Did he just right off the bottom again? Yep. That last one I caught was super long. This one probably weighs more than that last one. It's probably like eight, eight inches shorter. I love how dark this one is. Yeah. When the head came off the hole, it looked like a, like a northern head, just so wide. Thick one. I am gonna try to grab it more and film you though. It's just nice, to, like, just like even just watching your videos, it's nice to see like a big camera angle. Yeah. Every now and then. Which you got some good footage of Brett talking about his. That's actually helps a lot too. Oh, I might have got bumped. There we go. Bump me. Uh, that a babe. He gave it just a little taste. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I think he's a big fish, dude.